Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna cook Italian meatloaf. Mm, guys, this recipe, I have seen this recipe many times and when I tried it, I was like, okay, this is a keeper. So first thing what we're gonna do is heat our oven to 400 degrees, preheated. Yes. Add egg oil. Get that out of the way. And another thing, Heather, what I want you to do is go ahead and start the vegetables. Just chop them on up. Get them on out the way. Okay, not a problem. So what we're gonna have, we have some green and red bell peppers. And we have a little garlic. Mm -hmm. So we get that garlic on fresh. You know, about green. three cloves. We'll have the measurements, guys, in the description garlic. box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a waste. Okay. So. Kind of waste. kind of clean. Okay. That's good meat. <laughs> and we have a, a little bit over a half an onion. Yes. We no, love onions. We like onions. You might. And that's what this is for. So a waffle chop. Hey. Okay. So let's chop this up. Okay, guys. So hubby just finished doing the veggies. So now we're going to go ahead and start with our meat. So I got in a bowl some brown, lean ground beef. Um, just ground beef. This is 93.7, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, 80 20 is fine. I'm going to go ahead and just chop that up. We want to break it up because when we add our seasoning, we want it to kind of get in there. So I'm going to start with the ground beef first. And then I'm going to add the Italian sausage right on top. You can use your favorite uh, Italian seasoning. Um, and remember, we do have some sausage in here. So, you know, it just depends. You may not have to use any salt at all. We'll just stick with the herbs. No, get the cheese. Yeah, and the cheese is going there too, so I may not. Yeah, I'm gonna get, add my Santo Cedrus in here, babe. I think we're gonna be just fine. No, we don't need that. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are we gonna start with? So let's go ahead on first and start with the, and I can move them to you. This is some oregano. This is some basil. Can we get half of that basil? Half of it? You can dump it all. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Easy. basil. You can go ahead on with the parsley. Okay, parsley. That's the oregano. All the green stuff. Yes. And that's some cracked black pepper. Okay, now we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to use just a little, go ahead and use half of that for right now. Breadcrumbs. So those are breadcrumbs. We want to kind of incorporate, I know I'm going to use it all, but I just want to do half for right now. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this mozzarella in there. Okay. And, oh, we're going to get a splash of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I wish Worcestershire. I know y'all gonna come in the comments and tell me how to say it, so I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, because I really. Okay, I always take the top off it. Okay. So I'm gonna just put a, a little bit in here. Okay. And I'm gonna mix this first a little bit up. Just mix it up a little bit. So, just kind of move it around. And I'm going to add my milk. Don't use eggs. I find that the breadcrumbs and the milk is a great binder. Okay. Add my milk in. I'm going to put on and fold it in first. Just fold it a little bit so that meat can absorb that milk. I mean, you you think you can dump it without flipping it on the counter? Go with it. Go for it if you can. So ease your mind. I I always feel called puppy dad, and that comes from years ago of just teaching our children. I'm mommy and that daddy, and one of my daughters she don't like it. 
you don't like the bed. Still in the comments. Yeah, believe it or not, y'all. All these vegetables. Yeah, we put a lot more than most people put them. I love them in there. But it does make your meat low. Very, very moist. And the last thing I want was a dry meat. You finished? Thank you, baby. All right, so I'm gonna fold those vegetables in, and it does. He's right; it helps your meatloaf to be so moist. All right, so mm -hmm. this is a lot. Yeah, I'm making a big meatloaf here. So, and believe it or not, don't worry. Your meat is not gonna be um, tough because you're handling it and folding it in. In a minute, I'm going to leave this spatula along. I just want to make sure the meat is broke all up. And I'm going to use my best tool, and that's my hands. Um, but I see that, and you, you learn how to do this too. So I'm eyeballing the meat. What I'm looking for is that moist texture. And I do see it. But I want to add a little more breadcrumbs to it. And honey, can you give me some more milk in there? You can, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and dump all my bread. I love a lot of breadcrumbs. And probably about a half, a four, fourth of a cup, that's fine. So guys, I'm gonna have the suggested measurements, but you can play along with your meatloaf. It just depends, like I said, like mine. We have a large meatloaf. Very, very moist, and so it has to be right. I'm gonna add just a little bit more cheese. And baby, you go ahead and put the uh, milk in. Hold it. Yeah, that's fine. I get sick. <laughs> but like I already said, the oven is at 400 degrees. And yeah. next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this up. Yes. Uh, Before we do that. Here. I need to get in there with my hands, baby. I appreciate you with that spatula. I'll be right back, guys. Get in there with my hands. So guys, what we're doing now is I am just shaping the meatloaf, kind of just squaring it up. You know, just taking my hand, holding it like this, and going around. Making um, a loaf? Yeah, all the loaf space. Out of meat? And this is a very, very thick meatloaf, which is meat good. Loaf. Keep it nice and shaped up. And what we're going to do now, I'm gonna take these gloves off and then we're gonna to move to the next step, which is putting on marinara sauce. All right guys, so we got us a nice fat job of marinara sauce. So what we're gonna do, we're going to, oops, I give you a chance, but I appreciate it. Thank you, baby. Some nice strong hands you got there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna take the marinara sauce and we're gonna just put it on top, just like this. Okay, we're gonna spread it on top. And guess what guys, we even wanna do the size, but let's take care of the top first. I, mean, I like mine just a little kind of thick on top. So, and you do that by just being real patient, got your utensil. And kind of make, you can make little swerves or small swerves on it if you want. And once we do the top, we can go ahead and start working on the sides, sit it on top, and then move it to the side. I'm 
Whether you enjoy it, it's because it's going to be a little less of this kind of cooking, honey. I'm going to get some healthy eating around here. You ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay. Do I have nothing to do with this? Okay. Okay. All right. So, guys, I'm still working it in. So we have our marinara sauce on here, on the top and on the sides. So guys, the game plan is, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bake this for about 50 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do with mine. Now it always depends on how thick your meatloaf is. So mine's kind of pretty thick, probably 50 minutes to an hour. To, I'm gonna bake mine. And then I'm going to remove it and I'll put the remaining of this mozzarella cheese on top. Bake that for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And baby, it's going to be on and popping again. That's two or three days. Yeah. This is that we can't eat off of this. Uh, two. Yeah. I took a, a lot because, you know, you never know if you might have some family member that might want to eat food. So, how to put it in our 400 degree oven, guys. And we're going to go ahead and get that cooked up. And we'll be right back at y'all. Mm -hmm. You can group your next stick up. Do you care? I ain't got no though, but you do. I can. <laughs> <laughs> we are back with the meatloaf. It is has been cooking for about 50 minutes, quite almost really now, 55 minutes. So the last thing we're gonna do to finish off this delicious meatloaf is we're gonna just take some mozzarella cheese. Just gonna lightly put it on top. It was all right with the first go round. And guys, we're gonna put this back in the oven for 10 minutes just to melt that cheese, okay? All right guys, we are back. The best part. Yes, so the meatloaf is done mm -hmm. and I'm gonna cut into it. I don't even know what you're in the star now. Let me see. I'm gonna do this one right here. Even off this little button you know, here. That's my little trial piece. And take your spatula. Just make sure you hit bottom all the way over and through. And as a matter of fact, let me just take this and get this out the way. It's my little buddy, and I love that part. That's my favorite. Okay. Let me get a good grip because this booger is moist, y'all. Drain that off of there. Like this, guys. Look at that. Look at them. Guys, if that looks good to you all, we would definitely appreciate it if you would hit that like button and go ahead and join the family and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Would that look good, guys? Let me let me turn around the other side for you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Look at that. Moist. So yeah. Thank you guys for spending your time with me, hubby. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.